Hello, my name is Bill, and I'm coming to you from the Pseudocom Planetarium here at Adventure Science Center in Nashville. And I want to welcome you to our online edition of Night Watch for April 2022. As always, we'll take a look at the moon phases first and find the moon will be new on the 1st and the 30th this month, making for two new moons this month. First quarter moon will occur on the 9th, full moon on the 16th, and last quarter on the 23rd. As we take a look at planets this month, we find that there are no planets easily seen in our evening sky, but if you want to see planets, wake up early in the morning before sunrise. Early in the month, by around 5 a.m., you can catch Venus, Mars, and Saturn in the southeastern part of the sky. Later in the month, the planet Jupiter will join this trio of planets, and the moon will also pass by, making for a beautiful gathering over several mornings. Watch for the moon to pass underneath and between Saturn and Mars on the 25th, and between Mars and Venus on the 26th, and then the moon will be a very beautiful thin crescent beneath Venus and Jupiter on the early morning of the 27th. As we look at evening constellations this month, we find that even though we are officially in the spring season, the winter constellations are heading off toward the west. So get your last looks at the constellations Orion and his two dogs, Canis Major and Canis Minor, setting in the western sky after sunset. High overhead, we have the king of the spring season, Leo the Lion, whose head and neck looks like a backwards question mark shaped group of stars, or maybe a farmer's sickle, and a right triangular group of stars marks the back end of the lion. Farther to the north, and nearly overhead, but again a little bit to the north, we can catch the seven stars that we usually refer to as the Big Dipper. If we take the three stars in the handle of the Big Dipper, and move away from the handle, we can make a curve or an arc, and that arc will lead us to the star Arcturus, and then if we continue that arc farther to the south, we come to the star Spica. The way to remember those two star names is you go from the handle of the Big Dipper and you can arc to Arcturus and then speed on to Spica, although some people like to say spike to Spica to help them remember the name. The star Arcturus is in the constellation Bootes, the herdsman, while Spica is in the constellation of Virgo, the maiden. So we add them to our collection of constellations that we can see in our evening sky. Now if you can't remember everything I've mentioned in this online edition of Night Watch, you can grab a copy of our online star chart at adventuresci.org slash starcharts. You could also find out other information not contained in this online edition of Night Watch. And don't forget to visit us here at the Pseudocom Planetarium at Adventure Science Center. We have a number of different programs for different ages, covering different topics in astronomy, and we also have our dazzling laser light concerts. During the month of April, we have our brand new version of Laser Electropop, and we're bringing back by popular demand, Laser Prince. So check them out at the Pseudocom Planetarium. Once again, check out our website, adventuresci.org, for more information about all of our programs, age recommendations, and all the events and activities happening here at Adventure Science Center. Until next month, I want to thank you for listening to this online edition of Night Watch for April 2022, and we hope you can join us here at the Pseudocom Planetarium. Have clear skies.